What is going on people of YouTube? My name is Bikoyo, welcome back to a brand new episode of The Review, where we've got a couple of days to talk about last last week's game week, last midweek's game week. Um, the first time we saw massive resting of players, and quite a lot in my team, I think my four key players, Hazard, Aspilicueta, Sane, and Salah were all on the bench. Fortunately, um, Salah came on to give me a bit of hope, I still finished under the average and uh, resting players has got me because a few key players I thought couldn't be rested obviously did get rested um, but alas we're going to review over all the best scorers starting off with the goalkeepers and the goalkeepers we have for you today are Pickford on 13 points Ryan and Hennessy on 9 and Czech on 6 starting off we've got Pickford on 13 Everton won 4 nil. something I didn't realise because of football training um, he saved a penalty who New doesn't actually. Oh, it does. It's Lanzini. Dear. Yeah. Um, but uh, there's also apparently missed for Rooney. Fortunately, got the goal as well. Uh, which held on to a 15 point total. And Pickford, great performance, 4 0. And you question now with Everton's defenders. Granted, yes, his performance isn't anything to go by, but Unsworth is leaving and Big Sam has come in. Now, at least for the rest of the season, have the defenders now become in fashion? Maybe even Pickford at 4.8. Maybe not 4.5 sort of uh, price range, but have they now become fashionable? Are they going to get points? I'm willing to wait and see. The next couple of game weeks are going to be um, sure. And then when the, the uh, post-Christmas wildcard comes in, who knows? Might be a chance for all of us to get a few Everton players in because they could actually be quite the player now to bring in. Ryan and Hennessy both got 9 points. Brighton and Crystal Palace drew against each other. Nil-nil. Uh, it's the only correct score I got this week on um, Jet Sox Saturday's Super 6. So, I saw that one coming, but um, yeah, um, it was in, it was a, it was nothing to touch. It was just a nil-nil draw. It was, both teams needed the point, I suppose, so they got it. Not much to say about it. Both um, goalkeepers could be good. Hennessy at 4.3 could be a good option now. Um, now Speroni seems to have lost his place again. Um, and lastly, we've got Czech um, for Arsenal. 5-0, not much to say there apart from third clean sheet in a row. Maybe um, Arsenal defenders could be ones to bring in too. Moving on to the defenders, we've got Rudiger on 15, Williams on 12, Kenning on 11, Klasnach and Saka on 9, and Kieran Clark on 8. Starting off though with Rudiger on 5.8. Um, scored the winning goal, got a clean sheet. Clean sheet I saw coming from a mile away. Um, and I don't think it will impact the team much. Uh, because I do feel like looking at the team, if one person wants to lose his spot, for Aspilicueta to come back in, it would be Rudiger. And I cannot see Aspilicueta not coming back in. Um, he's had his one rest for the next two years. His last rest, as I said, was um, 2015, uh, December 2015, so it's basically December 2017. So um, give it you know a couple of years. All the next season will be fine, Aspilicueta. The rest of this season will play every game, so get him in your team now. Uh, Mr. Consistency, but Rudiger. Good performance, good goal if he's in your team, but my long-term um, assets are just, it's not looking like he could be one. Uh, Williams got 12, clean sheet, scored a goal, not much to say apart from he could be a decent looking defender. Everton get back to clean sheet ways, in which Big Sam is very much fond of himself. Kenny on 11 as well, I'm uh, well, not sure about Kenny, um, you obviously got Coleman maybe coming back, you got Kuko Martina, so... Who knows, but Kenny and I weren't playing well, so he keeps his starting spot, maybe worth an option. We've also got Class Natch and Sacco on 9, bit of a price difference there. 6.1 gets you Class Natch, goal, um, goal um, and assist in the clean sheet, so uh, yeah, I think it's a, he's a pretty good option. You've also got in the defence uh, Monreal and Mustafi, cheaper options at the centre backs. Class Natch obviously will play wing back and bomb forward, uh, which is, I think, where 6.1 could get you. Maybe a bit more expensive, but. Maybe get you a few more points over the course of the season. Um, Saka at 4.9. Nil nil. I don't really want to talk about it again. And Kieran Clark for Newcastle. Two all draw. Managed to get himself um, a decent performance in there. But for long term things, Newcastle doesn't look good. Moving on to midfielders, we've got Urzo on 17 points. Young on 15. Brady, Mane, Salah, and De Bruyne all on 13. Quite a high scoring week. For the midfielders, starting off, we've got Ozil on 17, highest point scorer of the week. 
back to his best I believe in that game one goal two assists three BPS I have to admit Ozil on his game is incredible work rate may be a bit questionable but looks good and I would say he's definitely definitely looking at um, definitely looking at maybe more permanent members um, owning him but of course Arsenal are Arsenal they are very inconsistent but for now Ozil looks good so who knows I'm not going to be ringing him in but if you've got the money and maybe need a risk you know Ozil could be that man for you another one that's probably in Bath from a couple of years ago is Ashley Young um, the five million pound man of 15 points um, not much to say there he's playing in um, he's left basically defender so five million from a fielder if he keeps on going forward on set piece and everything yeah but will he keep his first team spot a who knows I don't think so B and um, the fact he's not a defender I means doesn't get the clean sheet points Man United um, will get sometimes so that also will come into play and C um, <sighs> It's, it's just something about Ashley Young um, the things that I, I don't think he's favourite for the left back spot or even the left mid spot the left wing spot so I would really say he's not worth bringing in but obviously a risk may be worth taking if he was a defender he'd be snapped up by everyone um, at the moment uh, but Young at 15 I'd say let it pass um, let's move on to the 13 pointers shall we Brady on 5.5 Burnley's 2-1 win I thought it would be a clean sheet for at least one team end up being a clean sheet for neither team Brady getting a goal and assist in that game 13 points um, did really well and inevitably got Burnley the massive 3 points they probably didn't need but I was having a good season for Burnley <laughs> long live that continue uh, Mane and Salah scoring 13 points Mane have a goal and assist Salah with two goals in their 3-0 win in Stoke uh, came off the bench Salah to score well Mane started well those two are looking really good together um, I'm glad I got Salah in when I did because um, he's quite good in fact he scored two goals is good because that means even though he was rotated um, he's still getting transfers in the other ones the casuals probably be transferring out uh, you've also got De Bruyne there 10.1 for me it's far too expensive because um, he's very inconsistent he'll sit back a lot but 13 points this week may be a sign of things to come so if you want Man City coverage and think the premium option is for you De Bruyne could be your man and lastly, we've got the attackers to review. We've got Hattrick Hero, Wayne Rooney on 15 points, Giroud on 11, we've got Wood and Vardy on 8, and last season's Wonderboy on 7. Starting off with Wayne Rooney on 15 points, missed penalty, granted, 3 goals, scoring the Hattrick goal from inside his own half against West Ham. He's done it for two different clubs now against West Ham, so not quite sure how those fans are going to feel. Sorry, Joe. Um, it's 15 points is good maybe could be an asset again with uh, the fact that they played good football then um, it looks good and the more direct play my suit Rooney um, under Big Sam Shrewd there on 11 um, scoring 11 ball Shrewd down scoring 11 points 11 scoring 11 basically scored 11 points go off the bench uh, two goals um, you know, after, obviously he's not going to get a starting role whilst all players are fit maybe even um, one way he could get it is Lacazette moves wide Sanchez the other side, Giroud up front but he's only going to come off the bench so I'd be wary of that um, if you wanted to bring him in uh, Wood on 6.4 obviously scored one of the goals that uh, Bernie needed I mean that very very important win um, so maybe consider him but there is good um, you know sort of good debate around the striker area for Sean Dyche so Wood for me is a bit of a, a risky choice you've also got Vardy six, uh, 8.5 sorry on 8 points um, very very good performance didn't see it coming but maybe Leicester could be improving now Claude Puel I think um, shouldn't have been sacked for Saints but he's proven now he can be a Premier League manager and King on 7 uh, I wouldn't look into that too much I don't think King's have a very good season compared to last season's stats I still think he's too expensive and that happens to be that for this video I have enjoyed if you like comment and subscribe and let me know in the comments down below which out of the top scoring players would you have brought in did you have anyone and who was your captain mine was Hazard so if you're angry at me saying Hazard I went down with you so yeah apologies for that but thank you all for watching hope you have enjoyed and if you like comment and subscribe and peace